morning today i am going to demonstrate you how to use the adobe premiere for the professional laparoscopic video making and editing first you should go to your program and uh, then go to the all program and after that you will search and you will get the adobe premiere pro and it has to be clicked once you will click the Adobe Premiere Pro, then you will see the uh, recent project. If you want, you can create one new project. After that, by default, it will give you DB PAL system, a standard 48 kHz. In most of the Asian country, the PAL format is used. In the American, you can select the NTSC. If you have the high definition system, then you can go for high definition video that is 1080 interlacited, that is for the like the good quality laparoscopic HD cameras. But of course, it will take little more space. So by default, we should have the DV that is the standard 48 kg. After that, you have to select the location where your file has to be saved. By default, it is making one folder in your My Document and it is saving your files in the Adobe Premiere folder. If you want, you can just click it here and you can select the desktop so that all your files will be available on the desktop. Now, you have to give a name for your project so suppose we are giving today the name of a project like the project name is laparoscopy suppose this is the name of the project this is laparoscopy and then we will click ok now it is open this is the common first window which will appear once you will open the adobe premiere this is the default window and it's a very beautiful program which has uh, a lot of capability to put the video in video there are multi-layer video you can put multi-layer audio you can put there are many type of effects there is one more program in the window that is window movie maker but it has a lot of limitation one of the biggest limitation is that it cannot make your video in video file other limitation the title the uh, credit uh, the mm, different type of citations they have limitation but here it is a sky is the limit so i am going to demonstrate you how to make a simple clean picture in picture video in video for the laparoscopic movie making first you will bring your crusher over this sequence bar and just double click it as soon as you will double click a window will open and that window will tell you to find out the your file that is the video file now you can go to your uh, my document and you can select wherever you have kept your video file so suppose today i'm um, just for uh, training purpose i'm just getting one video file there like suppose this is the video file and uh, you have to take um, the video file from like this is total I am taking this total and now it is already loaded after that just you can drag this file here so that if you want you can play it Bingo for right to me. and after in playing a patient with a right agnexal mass using the harmonic ace following placement of laparoscopic playlist endopathic cell trocars the abdomen and pelvis are inspected irrigation is performed to obtain a cytologic sample so we have checked that that this video is good enough fair enough and we have to do the editing of this video so now what you do you go to this video just left click and drag it slowly I'm dragging dragging and bring it to the video one and after that you have the program sequence here which will give you the <coughs> complete uh, the video and you can just play it here. Bingo for right to me. 
in a patient with a right eye yeah, nasal mass using the harmonic ease. Now the replacement of laparoscopic bladeless endopathic central cards. I don't want this initial introduction. I don't want this initial introduction. I just want that I should record. I just want that I should record the video once uh, like surgery will start. So what I will do? I will keep on playing, or I can drag it from here. I am dragging it here. I am dragging it so that it's going. And now here the surgery is started. And then I can just uh, go. And suppose this initial part I don't want to see. Now I want from here. So the before this point I have to cut the entire video. And it is very simple. If you go to the right lower corner, there is one razor, razor tool. Just you click this razor tool by your left hand, and then bring this razor tool to this line here. This line you will bring the razor tool, and just click it. And as soon as you will click, the video is now cut into two parts. You can see this is one part, and this is another part. After that. You can just just right click on the part which you don't want, and then ripple delete. Now this part is removed, and here we can see now Little only the ligament. only the surgery part is there. The initial diagnostic part is not there now, and we can the just round ligament see. is grasped this is, this with a traumatic grasp. Now graspers. other thing. Suppose I don't want the sound of this video. Now what I will do? I will I will I will take the mm, arrow. And then I will double click here, and then here on the top in the middle, you have the audio mixer. This is the audio mixer, and then in this audio mixer, I can just decrease the sound of this, and now the sound is gone. Now there is no sound. Even if I will play, now there is no sound. And then if I want, I can put my own sound there. So how to do? Or if I want any music to put, I can put my own music. How to do? Again, I will double click it, and then I can go to the library. Then I can go to the music. Then I have my own music, like my music, and there are many songs there. I can click any of those songs, and now it is selected. And here we have the sound now. And now you will see. This is running, and the sound I can I can increase the sound. This is now the this is now you can see this is the this is the music, and now the music has started. Actually, you will never like to have in the laparoscopic uh, movie making. You will not like that type of sound. But if you want, you can use it. If you want, you can increase the sound. You can mute the track, or you can use the, or you can do the different solo track, or you can use the stereo track. And this way, I can decrease or increase the sound. If you want to increase the original sound of the video, I can increase it like this. And now you can see the original sound of the video will be there. And one one can be decreased. Here I am decreasing it and I am increasing this. This is a solo sound here, and it will be increased or decreased depending upon your your requirement. So this way, it has a great capacity. To mix the sound, and then here you can see. Colon. This is the, the original sound. This is the original sound. The this is the original sound. The the Now, if you want to keep the both the sound, here both is possible. This the original video sound, highlights the as well as the original sound. I am again decreasing design. one sound and increasing other sound. <laughs> Again, I am decreasing the sound which I have added. I am increasing the sound, 
of the original surgery so this way here we can see that you have the both the sound again you can get it and this i can mute it so <clears throat> now this was regarding the sound activities now i am going to show you some more activities like uh, how to do the further editing for the sound i am cancelling the sound for some time because do you know why because you can uh, if i will keep the sound there then you can uh, not uh, develop pelvic sound. ligament is you then know, completely I'm, I'm, transected i am decreasing both the sound here i am muting this sound also as well as i am muting that sound also now i will show you how to do further editing suppose here there was a little bleeding i don't want suppose i will go back 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 and this bleeding i don't want to show the anyone that it was bleeding or i don't want to show anyone that this right left side of salpingo ophrectomy was done again i can take the razor and i can go here and then it is cut and now again i will play and now i can drag it so that this part now this salpingo ophrectomy was done and again i will take the razor and again i will cut it now in between these two videos this video is cut in three part one is a other is b other is c now i don't want this b part then i will right click and again ripple delete and now it is removed so this way you can cut the video is in hundreds of part and uh, you can again join just like if you have a 100 meter tape or if you have a a b c d e f g h up to z uh, 26 letters then you can remove any letter you can join any letter exactly same way suppose i want this video i can remove it how just clear it and it is gone again this sound also i can cut i will cut it now this movie this sound is cut and i can i can clear it now it is gone so this way you have many videos layer and many audios layer which you can add together now i am going to show you the second important that how to put video in video for video in video nothing has to be done just double click it and select one more video which you want and uh, you go to your file and uh, suppose uh, mm, again this is hysterectomy but i want the patient also let us see if any patient video is there or not i don't think that patient uh, video or suppose uh, <coughs> suppose okay this suppose this is the one i have one uh, ventral hernia video but with the hysterectomy ventral hernia will not have a good combination so let me see some more videos mm. let us go and uh, in hysterectomy itself like uh, this is tlh in tlh uh, <coughs> suppose i want to add the technique of uh, using uterine manipulator like this this is uterine manipulator and i have pulled it now here i can again show you that uh, i am just dragging this video here and i am playing it this is showing you the uterine combining two movements the uterus is pushed and the handle of the apparatus is pushed downwards so this is the trend manipulator now again i am bringing this video and just drag it to layer video 2 and now it is added now you can see on the right side you have two videos now click one of them and then make it a smaller like this is a small as you want as big you want you can make it very small you can make it very big just by keep on the left mouse clicked and you can drag it up and down to make it smaller and bigger and now yes you take it and put it to one of the corner here 
and this is at one of the corner any corner you want you can add it and once you will add to one of the corner any corner right left up down and then you can play both together now I will show you both together is playing and here we have both the videos playing together now this way you can have the video in video attachment if you are thinking that it is disturbing this area then you can keep to this area because that area was real surgery so I am just keeping it now to the left corner left lower corner exactly same way upper any corner you can keep and now you will bring both the video suppose that the video 2 is bigger video 1 is smaller so I can drag it and I can bring it here at this point where both the video ends and again I will take the blade tool this is blade tool and I will cut it and then I will again clear it so it is cleared and now I have video in video and now we can see that this is going and here it is going like a video in video now both the video doesn't have sound so I don't want the sound of any video I, I want the sound of my own so I will drag my own and here this is third this is my original uh, sound of music although this music is also bigger than the video so I am cutting it again and it is here it is cut and then I will ripple the delete and now we, I can show you from beginning that it is going like this and with the music music is mine and video is the other so I am just stopping here because music was there so this way you can see the two videos and one audio is added and I have removed the original audio of the video now the next step I am going to demonstrate you that how to add the title or credit for that just you go in the title bar here on the, on the top menu you will see title and then click the new title a new title default role default crawl there are different type of title so you will take this title one and you click this title like that now a window is open for the title and after that you can select the font from below there are many good type of fonts are available suppose I am getting this font and I will click it here click it here and then you can write your name like any name you want you can write it suppose the fonts are big then go to the right side and just left click and drag now fonts are becoming becoming a smaller left click and drag this is very easy very convenient software again you can double click it and then you can keep or typing like your name you can type your name and if you want to change the quality you can click it like that like that you can see the styles are changing depending upon the background whatever style you want for your name you can keep it according to the color according to the different type of uh, like background so I am keeping this uh, white is okay because if you have a white one then even if it is a uh, little bloody field you can see now again get this arrow that is tool the mouse tool and you can make it a smaller and then you can just drag it to any other corner suppose I want on this corner or this corner any corner you can drag it like I'm I'm putting it to the this right lower corner here and then just you close it automatically it will get saved you don't have to save it now this is you will go in the left you will find the title here already it is added now you go and drag this title and bring it to the video 3 now as soon as you have dragged it you can see here your name is written now after that 
you can again stretch it and you can decide how much you want how much big you want like that so it is now i have stretched it to the full video full video and now you can see this dr archimistra will remain on the full video and you can see music is there two videos are there So now I am happy with the music, I am happy with the two videos, I am happy with the na my name. Now the last is how to save it. Now for saving it you go to the file and then go to the export and go to the Adobe Media Encoder. Here this is Adobe Media Encoder. And then automatically one encoded window will open. Now this is Adobe Media Encoder. and then what you can do you can select the format you want like the high definition or 720 or whatever your uh, idea is there do you know whatever encoding you have used in your last video the window will save that format most of the time so here the last video i have used 720 into 480 but i can stretch it i can decrease it it is according to my wish and after that i am clicking ok and now it is it is it is asking now where you want to save it now i am giving to the desktop and i am saving it it is asking that already one sequence is there do you want to overwrite i will say no and i will make one sequence two i am giving the second name and then again it is saved now it is encoding and if you have a good processor it will be quite fast but if you have slow processor sometime it take hours to do also so if your computer is little slow it is a time taking procedure but if your computer is fast it may be and depending upon the file in format which you are suppose you will render it in the high definition then it is little time taking and if you will render it in the small definition a small file then it will be much faster and uh, what we have done in this now we have added two videos together we have made a title there are a lot of other functions other uh, like uh, features are there like you have the animation feature you have the title uh, scrolling feature you have the title rendering feature you can increase contrast you can decrease contrast sometime these are the features here in the left lower corner you can see this is history this is effect and you can select I, right now when i am trying it's not allowing me it is giving a error message do you know why because it is angry that you are already rendering and telling me to edit also so it is not uh, willing to do anything so right now at the time of rendering you cannot use this software but once it is rendered and still you want you can add it one other advantage is you can you can save the project and if you will keep the project saved next time when you will do the another surgery then you don't need to do all the title and the credit and the effect just you have to change one video from here the another surgery video you will bring and automatically it will done so i am just waiting for it to get uh, like rendered 30% of this is already rendered and slowly it is increasing. So these were the basic feature of the Adobe Premiere software. There are many advanced features also like you can do the different type of motion effect. Like if the same video if you want, this video can move slowly, it can fade slowly, it can do the transparency and mixing of the two video sometime from one corner to another corner you can do the mixing so these extra uh, effects are generally not used in our surgery what is the advantage of having the video in video in our laparoscopic surgery is that it can prove that you have done the surgery sometime what happens that uh, if you have uh, done a very nice job also and maybe people will tell that you have taken from youtube and all but if you have already done like a good uh, video in video you can keep one digital camera which can record your hand movement from the outside of the patient 
and one laparoscopic camera you will attach which will record the laparoscopic video from inside so that video in video is very attractive especially for educational purposes also suppose you want to give to someone in, to in the conferences then you can put your sound together with you can put your lecture and then you can put video in video in adobe premiere many layers of the video like four five six ult ult ultimately you can put the ten ten layers also and that has the advantage but of course you, nobody wants to keep ten layers otherwise you cannot see you cannot concentrate so maximum three or four layer of the videos are titles also you can make unlimited titles like if you want to show this is harmonic then you can type here the harmonic by the time harmonic is there one title will be for harmonic, other title will be for grasper, other title will be for uterus, other title will be for ovary. So you can make multiple titles and you can overlap those titles as a video file. Just you have to hold in the left corner and drag it, it will work. Exactly same way there are different type of effect. Now in the right lower corner you have the different uh, tool like razor, like zoom, like uh, stretching. And uh, in the sound effect also, as I told, told you, the two, three layers of the sound can be incorporated together. And just like an equalizer, you can uh, stop any sound, you can increase any other sound, and that will give you a very good effect. So now we have to wait uh, 1 minute 24 second, because our video is already rendered, and it is just about to finish. So let us see and we will enjoy our video how it i have added uh, for you one indian song there i don't know you will like or not but it is just for demonstration that any sound uh, can be introduced even you can record your sound also with the microphone activated you will go and you can put the re rendering with the microphone so you can activate your laptop uh, webcam and then you can record live also while you are speaking your sound and your face also can be recorded so these features more you will explore more you will learn by just heat and trial it can be learned very nicely so now our 91 percent of the encoding is complete and now just it is about to finish and then we will see how our video look like and uh, i am sure that it will be very good and it will be very interesting also so let us see how it comes and uh, it is just now finished and here it is now over now it is done let us go now to our desktop this is our desktop and here is this video so it came very nicely and you can see this video is running with this sound and video in video. So I am decreasing the sound now and I am decreasing the sound and now I am just stopping it and uh, then you open. If you want to save this project you can save it and then you can go to the file or from here you can exit it save change to laparoscopy project before closing you can keep yes what is the advantage that next time this project you will open and further editing is possible not only that if you want any for new case new surgery then anything else you don't have to edit just video one you have to change so keep it saved and it is saving the project so thank you very much i hope you might have liked it if you have any other query, I will definitely solve it personally to you. Thank you very much.